Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss maps and map overlays and how we can use different maps and techniques to help you with your planning. Um, I picked up this one. This one's actually been on my list for some time, but uh, it's come to a head because I've got a client. One of my oldest clients is a landscaping company, and they want me to create a video showing off some landscaping they've done at this house here. And it's a beautiful house. and um, uh, and as I usually do, I decided I was going to do some pre-planning, run a few things in Google Earth to give them ideas of, of the sort of shots we're going to do. So interesting thing happened. I look at this on Google Earth. So I'm in Google Earth now. And here's this beautiful house. But if I switch over and I go over to Drone Link, you discover something interesting, which is the house doesn't exist here. It's just completely gone. If we If we go back to Google Earth, You'll see we've got the cul-de-sac here and this path coming in. And when we go over to, to Drone Link, the cul-de-sac is there, but there's no path and you've got this house. And in fact, even their neighbor has a different pool. Um, so there's quite been quite a few changes here. So in Drone Link, it's going to be a little tricky for me to do, to do any planning here. So what can I do about that? The first thing we can do about that is to switch the map. So if I go over here on the right hand side and I click on these three dots, you'll see the map style. It says map box and satellite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose here, satellite and streets. Now, when you do that, it does zoom out and I will have to re-enter the address and go back. So I'm going to do that now. And here we are having switched over to the um, here maps you can see that it's not a great quality map but what you can see is that it's obviously more up to date because it does now have this path and uh, and the pools and everything else so i do have something that i can use for planning so that's uh, step one step two is to actually try something in google earth and import that so i'm going to do that right now i'm going to jump over to google earth and I'm going to come up here and I'm actually, I could select any of these, but I'm actually going to select this, this one here, which says, actually, I'll need to drag that in. Put that out. So we're going to create a path. So I clicked on this path icon up here. You could use a polygon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw just with some clicks. I'm going to just outline where the property is. Let's move that over there. Draw an outline of the property. All right. And that just gives us a rough outline. You could be a lot more precise. And then in this box here, I've got this thing called Untitled Path, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say Map Test. And then if I turn on my sidebar, you'll see we've got Map Test here. I don't know why I put it in my camera views. Don't want it there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say save place as and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it map test and I'm going to call it a KML. I'm going to say save. So now I've got a KML saved and I'm going to jump back over into into drone link. And if you click on these three dots again, you get this option that says add layer. At this point, the only type of layer that you can add is a KML. I think you may be able to also do a KMZ, but you can add a KML. So I'm going to click map test KML. OK, and now what you see, and I messed this up when I was drawing it, but what you can see is we've got this path that I created and you can see the outline. Um, so even if I were in the other map, even if I didn't have the satellite, the here satellites and I was using map box, we could still import this and outline the property. It's not it's not it's not perfect. It's not a great way to do it. But these are just two ways that you can actually outline the property or get a different view of the property that you're trying to video without uh, without actually using Google Earth, which is currently not available. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. And as always, love to hear comments. So feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.